What's up everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video I have a rather interesting topic to talk about in my opinion. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the case design process and specifically what has changed from the very first prototype of my Balasong case which I featured um, in the 2022 collection video and where it is now. Because as you can see now I have the uh, brand new, the now released version of the case inside of my custom Pelican case. And this is the original version. This is the first one that I designed. And there are some changes that have happened between this one and this one. And I want to go over what those changes are and uh, how they affect the functionality of the case. Because I do believe that they improve it. So... Uh, first thing you'll notice right off the bat is a couple things have changed with this center portion. The things that I want to point out, I guess, is there are five slots here. So you have one, two, three, four, five display portions for balisongs and then a open area for storing stuff. The problem ended up being is that with all of this cutting on the top, right? So the, the top part of this thing is relatively thin. You know, you only have this much foam to work with and then there's a plastic backing. And so when you add all of these cuts in there, you'll notice it's not the most structurally rigid thing in the world, unfortunately. And so when lifting up and uh, out the amount of weight that you have when you have this large of a collection, it ends up becoming a bit of a problem. <laughs> and so you need to make something that is more structurally sound. And so that's what we did here. Uh, I did a couple things. First of all, I reduced it down from five display slots to four, and that made it where this really flimsy, super thin, foam wasn't happening anymore. Now you've got a much better area. Also, the display, th the, the actual display slots were not deep enough. So something you'll notice here if I put this balisong in is it actually sticks out of the display slot about halfway. And that was part of my original intention. However, something I noticed was two things. Uh, first of all, the, dis the sides of the dis display slot started to get kind of destroyed pretty quickly because of the balisong pushing against them. But something else is if you stored the balisong in this orientation, the blade was actually protruding enough to kind of press against the foam in a weird way. And you can see right here, if I do this, it kind of distorts and disforms the foam right there, right? It, it deforms it. And uh, that is a bit of a problem. That is something of an annoyance. And so that led to balisongs sort of sliding around in this display area in ways that I didn't want. Uh, another thing too is that this opening right here is currently the exact same size as the display area, which was neat, but didn't actually help very much in terms of functionality because there wasn't much that you could fit in there. And so, with the new display area, we have some improvements. Uh, first of all, the display slots are deeper. And so that whole problem with balisong sliding around and the uh, tip of the balisong pressing into the foam, it's not nearly as bad now. Now the tip of the balisong can press into the foam and it doesn't really distort the top of the foam. You can see it just presses normally into the side of the foam the way it should. Uh, similarly, uh, the balisongs just fit in there more deeply, which means that they're also more secure and are less likely to kind of fall out or slide around inside of your case. Um, these walls are thicker and so they have more protection, you know, holding the balisong in place. And then finally, this slot right here has been widened and deepened. So it's actually much deeper than this first one. And it is wider, which is allows for things like storing an entire Weeha screwdriver, which you could not do in this one. You can see just by putting it in there, I'm sort of distorting. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm just sort of distorting it this way and then it's also sitting proud of the surface about halfway so about half the thickness of the freaking screwdriver sticks out of there whereas in here the screwdriver is almost completely uh flush with the top of this thing which is exactly what i wanted and also it has room to move around a little bit in there because it's actually spacious so that's a couple things that were changed with the display area and then on top of that, we uh, slightly reduced, I think maybe I took out one, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, so I removed one balisong 
from the stack, which meant that these in-between parts are actually thicker now, so you get slightly more thickness in between your balisongs. And then on top of that, that also increases the rigidity. Finally, I actually increased the depth of this entire contraption slightly, which you can't see very well, but the depth of this foam has been increased, and so it is overall much more rigid than the previous version. And you can see it still flexes a fair bit when you pick it up, it's just substantially less so. Okay, so now underneath, uh, this is where a lot of those cool changes were implemented. So as I said, now you have storage for eight balisongs underneath here. There's all sorts of stuff happening. And then this big open area has a ton of space, which can fit a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, it can fit a lot of cool things in this big open space. Uh, there's just so much stuff that you can fit. It'd be, it'd be very easy to fit a bunch of extra balisongs of some kind into this open space if you wanted to. You know, you don't have to, but if you wanted to, you could do that. That'd be pretty cool if you did that. So anyways, yeah, that's the main differences in terms of the largest case versus the original version that I created for myself. And so this is kind of what happens when you actually take a product and you want to turn it into a reality is you have to adjust it from your original design, which is flawed, and try to create something that is more utilitarian and will be more useful for the people that you're aiming for. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.